everyone. So today's our subject is uh, ICSAS, ICSAS measurement and analysis. The we call the XAS, the X-ray absorption fine structures. The, uh, the XAS starting at the 1972s, uh, discovery by the fine structures uh, by the American three scientists, the Edward Stearns and the Joe Sayers and the Farrell writers. But before that, the many people are. Uh, Make an enthusiastic uh, try, trial for the uh, interpretation of the such kind of fine structures. Of course, Japanese scientist Professor Hayashi is also that member. Now, first uh, is the introduction of exhaust. Uh, that is the uh, energy spectrum of the. KH or LH, uh, something to the atomic, uh, dependence of the atomic numbers. Uh, using the XAS, so the many atoms uh, can be analyzed, analyzed from the some lower uh, atomic numbers here for using the KH and the higher uh, atomic numbers, in such act actinoid or lanthanoid here. Uh, in that case, they're using the average. The typical uh, X-ray energy is from the several uh, soft X-ray, is the several hundred uh, electron volts to the uh, ten uh, kilo electron volt here. So we use uh, such uh, regions, studying the using the exhaust. This is a typical periodic tables. The red uh, cupboard is my experience. So the I was uh, I have studied the thirty years, uh, thirty years uh, exhaust. So the uh, from the oxygen to something to the lanthanide series. Now uh, I selected to the uh, this lectures so some uh, typical. Uh, Topics. Now, characteristic of XAS, the advantage and the applications. Advantage is the element specific. We choose the uh, level, energy level or core shell. So the KH, something energies, and the uh, uh, RH, mm -hmm. and the Local structure, uh, the photoelectron mean free pass is very short, so the excess including the uh, information of the local structures. Uh, it's uh, excess is uh, very strong to the mixtures because of the element specific or local structures. So uh, we use uh, instant X-rays and the detection also uh, the X-rays. So the system. Uh, not limited. So solid is, liquids, gases also uh, available for analyzing. And uh, using the excess, uh, the very extreme conditions can be performed. High temperatures, low temperatures, high pressures. And uh, sometimes the transmission, transmitted, transmission XA uh, exhaust analysis is very simple. Uh, before the samples, we check the intensity of the exhaust, uh, X rays, and after the samples, uh, we check the uh, intensity of the X rays. So the measurement is uh, quite easy. But the analysis is uh, sometimes problems. Uh, the XAS has uh, many various physical com uh, 
concept. So uh, we uh, use uh, uh, accurate uh, physical interpretations by the X uh, analysis of the X And non-disruptive is also uh, uh, another advantage. So using the, this advantage, the application is very wide. Uh, I show you the semiconductor and semi superconductor films and the magnetic structures are all in the films. Using the circular uh, polarized uh, X-rays, the spin selective uh, measurement analysis is uh, can be done. And the dynamics of catalysis, the very fast time dependent x measurement is special for the dynamics of the chemical, some various chemical reaction over catalysis reactions. And uh, in situ measurement of real sample is uh, possible because the X-ray, uh, using the X-rays, the system is very simple, so the uh, sample system is can be uh, done and complicated uh, setup. Now, this is the origin of first, I show you the X-ray absorption near edge structures. This is the energy scheme uh, I told previous uh, yesterday's, and uh, this is the spectrum, X-ray absorption spectrum uh, from the KH or one s electrons excited by the uh, incident x-rays and uh, jump to the unoccupied state. In this case, the absorption coefficient increasing sharply, uh, sharp peak. And uh, then, uh, the excited to the continuum state, the these region is very complicated. So the structure, uh, fine structure is also uh, complicated that we call this region of the Zanes. And the high energy region, high energy uh, photoelectron regions, uh, the interpretation of the fine structure is very simple. So in these regions, we call the extended X-ray absorption fine structure, uh, XAPS. This is the example of the Zanes analysis near edge analysis, uh, it can be, it is uh, very sensitive to the balance band and uh, symmetry. In this case is a chromium three and chromium six. In case of the six plus, uh, it has a TV symmetries, it uh, is a symmetry broken. So in, uh, that this peak is the variance to three Ds. These uh, excitation or uh, transitions uh, is uh, allowed transitions for the quantum mechanicalis. So there is a very sharp peak uh, from the 3D levels. Uh, on the other hand, it has a three plus chromium. It has a OH symmetries. In this high symmetry, uh, the this uh, absorption should be prohibited. So there is no uh, dipole transitions. Uh, some small one is uh, quadrupole or some more uh, uh, higher order transition is can be seen in here. And uh, uh, medium regions of in the Zanes is quite different between the uh, multiple scattering process uh, it should be the important for this Zanis regions. So, and uh, three plus, in the case of the three plus, uh, the edge jump uh, shift you to the lower energy. And the higher uh, balance, balance uh, shift you to the higher uh, energies. So, uh, in this Zanis, Zanis, there is uh, three important informations. So one is, first is the uh, symmetries. There is a such kind of uh, prohibited peak or not, and uh, arrowed peak, I'm sorry, arrowed peak. And uh, the structure, 
the multiple scattering is uh, in effect regions. And third information is the uh, valence uh, values. Uh, the energy shift uh, is sensitive to the valence state of the central uh, atoms. That is the, uh, another example of the chromium and uh, manganese. For the metal, chromium is, uh, is the red one. It's the most, most lowest, lowest uh, uh, energy uh, edge. And third, fourth, fifth, sixth, uh, step by step, uh, increasing to the energy. And uh, also there is uh, some uh, uh, 1D, 1S 3D peak is appears. So our unknown sample spectrum is here. So we can uh, uh, determine the various numbers and should be third. Also another uh, example is the manganese. Manganese has a very wide uh, valence state from zero, which is a metal, and two, three, four, seven. Uh, the shift range is very wide. And I show you the Ixos, uh, Ixos uh, example. This is a typical uh, effective of the ne nearest neighboring atoms. Krypton is a very interesting materials, materials in, in element. It has a gas state. We use the krypton gas uh, in, in a, inactive gas, inert gas. So uh, in this case, the exhaust is very simple. No fine structure. This is a uh, typical mu zero or uh, isolated atom spectrum. On the other hand, the two dimensional uh, crystalline of uh, cryptons, it has a clear uh, excess uh, oscillations here. So origin of the, this excess oscillation can be considered of this picture. For the electron potential uh, excited by the X-rays, electrons going up. In the continuum state, this is the uh, uh, R space. The next scattering atom is ex exists here. So, not one case, the in outgoing wave is blue, and back scattering at, uh, wave is green. In this case, the outgoing and incoming waves uh, are destructive. So in this case, the trans uh, excitation transition probability should be small. So in this case, is uh, like that here. Another case, the outgoing wave uh, is greens, and backscattering incoming uh, wave is also blue, is uh, completely coincide. So the sum up of the interference, resulting interference wave should be B large. Amplitude is large. In this case, the uh, probability densities of the, this transition should be large. So uh, the large uh, absorption coefficient is appear of this field. So the, our XAS, uh, appear to the, this sinusoidal oscillation functions on the uh, uh, simple k edge, over the uh, simple k edge. Uh, just a uh, uh, very similar uh, situation is the Yuan temple in Kyoto. The incoming wave here, backscattering no, outgoing wave here, backscattering wave here, and this is, uh, there is a quantum mechanical interference. So it uh, mm, has some information to the between the, no, in 
information between, uh, of uh, interatomic distance between these stones or uh, some number of stones and uh, dynamics, thermal vibration of the, these stones. Of course, the this stone is the uh, atoms. Now we uh, discussed the exhaust equations. Driving the exhaust equations, uh, the several approximation should be introduced. First one is the Muffington approximation. Uh, this plate is the facility of the muffin, muffin things, baking muffin things. The potential is very simple, and between the potentials, the value of the potential is flat. So atom is here, 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 here. So another second approximation is dipole approximation. In the Hamiltonian of the uh, interaction of uh, X-ray and uh, electrons, uh, there is some exponential part. So First of all, uh, we approximate it to the, this is, should be unit. And the plane wave approximations, or small atom approximations, of course the uh, photoelectrons spread uh, the curved wave, but uh, very far from the uh, absorption atom and the scattering atoms, or are very high energies. The wavelength of the photoelectron is very short, so it can be applied, approximated by a brain uh, wave. And this is uh, another uh, approximation, the single scattering approximation. Of course, the is Zanes or some recent uh, progress, uh, theoretical progress, the multiple scattering is easily uh, taken into account. But our uh, starting point, the simple excess uh, equations, um, it, is, it can be derived by the single scattering approximation. Final one is one electron approximation. Uh, we consider as only the uh, one electrons from the KH or LH uh, spread to the nearest neighboring atoms. We take into account uh, no, many body, uh, we take into account uh, another uh, uh, effect uh, by uh, March electrons, any mod many body effect. It should be the uh, reduction factors of the uh, exhaust process. Now, our starting point is the Fermi's golden rule. The Hamiltonian is here for X ray photon, is a small perturbation of inter interaction. Hamiltonians, and the initial state is the uh, one less electronic st uh, electron state, and the final state, which is the free en electrons into the continu continuum state. So uh, the, we sh the equation we should solve uh, has uh, th this simple equations is a transition uh, element here. No, I'm sorry, matrix element is here. This is the important point for the excess equations. Our Hamiltonian has a X-ray part and interaction between the photon and electrons and some potentials. So the P is the uh, mo momentum of the fo electrons and A is the vector potential of photons. And in other words, is X-rays. So electrons, P is electrons, A is the X-rays. 
and next step, uh, there is the interaction part of here. First one is the 2NP squared. This is the electron mm, uh, momentum, just the uh, non partite part. And the second part is the 1A vector potential uh, includes. The second, third part, third term uh, includes to the square of uh, A's vector potential included. This means the uh, int very interesting. Uh, A has the one annihilation um, operator of photons and one creation operator of photons. So, uh, in this case, one A includes the one annihilation <laughs> operators of photons. So it means the absorption process. On the other hand, the square of A includes to the uh, square of annihilation or square of uh, in creations and cross terms. In this case, the cross term is very important. First, the photon is disappears once, and the second step, the photon is created. So, photon disappear and appear again. This means the uh, scattering process. Uh, we already discussed yesterday uh, and uh, Thompson scattering, the same energy. And uh, in the case of the X-ray energy not so high, so we use the dipole approximations. So the, this exponential uh, behavior should be uh, unit. So our interaction at Hamiltonian can be a very simple form of this electron charge and uh, amplitude of uh, vector potential and uh, electric vectors and uh, position. And what is the final state of the photoelectrons? F0 is the outgoing atomic part. Just wave go to the out, out, uh, uh, outgoing, outside, as the free electrons. No coming back. Uh, DF is a small uh, part of the uh, backscattering to the, uh, by the neighbors. So, of course, the excess includes uh, the D, DF, the small part, perturbation part, includes to the structure information as the excess signal. In the experimentary, uh, the, this is the, uh, we showed uh, just uh, before the slide, the krypton gas has uh, no uh, excess fine structure, just the uh, uh, electron is moving the outside. This is the mu zero is the process of the uh, final state is F zero. And the inter backscattered uh, part includes here's so here. So experimentally, we obtain the absorption coefficient mu is proportional to the, uh, the This part, matrix element, square of matrix element. So first is the non partitive part of the F0 is squared. And the second one is the interference uh, part is the cross term. Of course, third terms include to the square root, a uh, square of uh, this delta F. But uh, that is uh, very small, so we can neglect of the third, third uh, uh, terms. So simply is to the non partitive native, uh, just isolated atom part and uh, interference by the scattering uh, atoms part. So our excess chi k 
is expressed as the mu zero, uh, mu over mu zero minus one. Uh, we calculated it here, so the uh, uh, expression is real part of the, uh, this uh, process. So of course, the, this d hell e ef includes to the uh, nearest neighbor in information. This is the uh, most important part of the uh, exercise. Some numerical calculations uh, using the uh, real wave function from 1s and uh, free electrons and backscatter electrons. So we can be obtained to the, this uh, sinusoidal functions. So in the process of the calculations, there is a phase shift of the central atoms and uh, travel to the neighboring atoms. The R is the uh, distance between the absorption and the scattering atoms. And then uh, the backscatter the phase shift there uh, is no the phase shift is years and uh, phase shift and amplitude change uh, includes to the this f so final result uh, contains to the uh, 2kr r is the interatomic distance and delta l is the absorption phase shift phase shift of the absorption atoms and Psi, uh, phi, phi includes to the uh, phase shift by the scattering atoms. And this F, uh, absolute value of F is the amplitude of uh, backscattered electrons. Of course, this F values, F functions and the phi function has uh, uh, relations. Now, uh, we, we should consider the uh, inversion of principle of causalities. We, cons uh, we check the, uh, this exact behavior step by step. First, the X-ray is coming to the uh, central atoms. Then the electron goes to the uh, continuous state. And then the photoelectrons backscattering in the uh, neighboring atoms. After that, the probability should be decided. In case the uh, out outgoing wave and the incoming wave is uh, constructive, the electrons could be excited. But uh, in case the outgoing wave and incoming wave is the destructive, the electron should not be, could not be excited. The causality, principle of causality is broken. This is a very uh, interesting problem. Mm. Is uh, essential of the quantum mechanics, uh, time derivative of the quantum mechanics. Uh, this is for tutorial for you. <laughs> uh, my answer is our answer is uh, uh, we have two possibilities of answer. First one is an uncertainty. This is a real, not a real answer. The, this is a limitation of the quantum mechanics. In order to interfere for the outgoing wave and the backcoming waves, uh, there is a limit of the energy uh, uncertainty, very small, one wave and one wave. But in this case, the time uh, uncertainty should be large. We cannot say the, what is the future, what the, when is the future, and when is the past, uh, it's uh, impossible. So uh, in this uh, time uh, range, uh, the principle of causality uh, is broken. 
Another interpretation of this process is a path integral concept developed by the Feynman. Uh, Feynman's uh, concept is a behavior, behavior of the present stage uh, includes to the future, uh, every future uh, causalities. Of course, the past causalities. So, the, this present uh, at the t t point of the time includes to the uh, what is the uh, how is the future uh, behavior is this including that is the uh, just uh, interpretation from the quantum mechanics system but uh, our student, our uh, master course student, is uh, cannot state so of this problem in the um, their uh, PhD defense. Now, the second part of the this section is a measurement of and analysis of exams. My friend uh, lives in the North Italy, named Toronto. And the picture, this picture, uh, he, he sent me the, these pictures, clear picture in the Dolomite Mountains. And this is type of the Ixas, very uh, unharmonious, unharmonious, including harmonic system. First, uh, starting the measurement systems. We already to, uh, studied the uh, yesterday's with the bending magnet systems and uh, Andra and Wigglers is the uh, insertion device. Uh, so from the uh, synchrotron radiations, the very really sharp and strong and uh, coherent X-rays is cutting. And uh, the Ixas setup the most simple setup is the trans uh, transmission mode. The SR source uh, monetized by the, some monochromators and X-ray with here and uh, just uh, monitor the uh, intensity of X-rays over number of photons by the ionization chambers. And after samples, uh, it is measured as the same uh, number of photons. Usually, we use the silicon uh, monochromators, dub uh, crystal monochromators. The mirror number is one on one, two zero, two zero uh, uh, like that, for high energy, uh, hard X-ray. In the soft X-ray regions, we use the indium antimon crystal or some grating uh, systems for monochromatized uh, X-ray. Another uh, insertion um, uh, facilities is a focusing remove uh, mirrors over. Uh, removal, mirror, uh, removal uh, mirror for the removal of the higher harmonics around here. I show, uh, showed you uh, yesterday's the X-ray photoelectric, uh, photoelectric absorption process had uh, three uh, parts. Uh, it, uh, the measurement of the excess is also three, uh, has a three categories. First is the most uh, simple ones, uh, transmission mode, uh, the high accuracies and uh, sample is all, uh, various sample is, can be applicable 
to the foil sample, bulk sample, powder sample, and the liquid solution uh, in the whale. But uh, it should be the sample treatment to the uniform thickness and uh, appropriate uh, thickness of the equi absorption. Because the some very thi thick samples, uh, the less signal, the S and uh, signal ratio is decreasing. For thinner samples, the edge jump of the X-ray absorption is very uh, small. In case, uh, also the signal to noise ratio should be large. Another one is the uh, fluorescence mode. We can detect to the fluorescence X-rays. The fluorescence intensity is uh, proportional to the absorption coefficient in the special case because uh, that is a dilute sample over thin films. Third one is the electron yield mode. The, this uh, process is very also simple. The detection detector uh, catch detect to the uh, photoelectrons directly near the uh, samples or uh, as a current of the sample and uh, folder. The demerit of or merit or demerit, I don't know, but uh, it is a characteristic feature of this uh, mode is a very science uh, surface sensitive. It depends, the depth of the uh, sensitivities depends on the uh, energies, but uh, several nanometer. Now we uh, show you the transmission mode. The, this is the simple de derivation of the lambert bell uh, uh, equations from the uh, this mm, pictures. The intensity of the Surface uh, X-ray, uh, surface a uh, surface of sample surf, uh, sample surface that is, uh, is uh, one, and it's uh, decreasing to the uh, step by step uh, with, uh, with uh, thickness of uh, samples. So we solved to the first class derivative equations uh, we, we obtain to the final state uh, final result is here over last one is here the just uh, intensity ratio between the before the sample and after the sample and uh, sample thickness piece that we can obtain to the absorption coefficient mu mu is the has a relation to the uh, matrix element in the quantum mechanical equations uh, and uh, analyzing to the interatomic distance or number of uh, scattering atoms or dynamics of the uh, systems. In this case, the sample is very simple. Mm, there is some kind of disk uh, or uh, foils or uh, liquid. Now here is a fluorescence mode. This picture is what we already discussed yesterday. And the X-ray is coming here. Of course, the I0 is uh, uh, monitored by the ionization temper. Or for non, uh, soft X-rays, uh, we use the current of the uh, some metal mesh. And the fluorescence monitor is uh, located at the side of the samples. In the case of the thick 
dilute sample over thin films, the fluorescence intensities is proportional to the absorption coefficient. Most simple fluorescence detector is Lytle detectors. Parallel Lytle is the one of the exhaust discovery, discoverer. Uh, they established the exhaust companies produced by the, this simple, simple but uh, very high performance uh, fluorescence detection. The simple world, this is uh, another uh, ionization chambers. Fluorescence, this is a sample here, and X-rays come here, and this is a solar slit. Uh, this is a detector. This part is a detector. So the fluorescence comes the, from the another part, is from, from here. Uh, monitor was uh, occurred in the, some argon gas and krypton gas. Uh, it depends on the energy of uh, X-rays, fluorescence X-rays. Another high performance uh, fluorescence detector is a solid state injector. Uh, usually, this is uh, uh, produced by the oh, uh, Germany. So, uh, solid state detector can be analyzed to the um, energy. Uh, Resolutions. So this is uh, some uh, example of the terrorium fluorescence. About uh, two two point uh, five kelvins. This uh, there is a Thomson scattering. The same energy of the instant X rays and uh, lower part of. Uh, energy, uh, there is a Compton scattering here. And then uh, this peak is our uh, target of the terrorium K alpha. For the high energy regions, the air, or air, yeah, air pass is uh, uh, here. So the, from the Compton scattering from the air uh, can be uh, very uh, should be effective. So in this case, the Thompson and the Compton scattering uh, can be neglected. But in case the we uh, set of the uh, low, low is the uh, range of interest uh, is here, so we detect and in the, into the counter just the range of the, this terrorium K alpha we obtain the very clear excess spectrum. Another one is, this is a for typical for the soft X-ray regions, and not Germany's. This is, uh, in this case, the silicon drift detector, so made by the silicon. In the soft X-ray regions, uh, no Thomson peak and no Compton peak, because uh, in, the, in, in the vacuum, Last one, third one is the electron yield method. <coughs> uh, this picture is the uh, high energy hard X-ray regions that we use the conversion helium ion method. The X-rays is uh, here and the electrons uh, goes up. And this electrons, photoelectrons, excites with another uh, uh, gas. For example, the helium. So the, this is a uh, electric voltage in here. So the, our signal uh, can be detected to the current of the, this uh, region. So here is the sensitivity of the uh, samples for the iron oxide on grass. This is 
this spectrum is taken out by the uh, transmission mode, the very thinner uh, films. But uh, for the conversion helium method, it's a very clear exhaust spectrums appear. For soft X-rays, uh, directly escaped current detected. Total electron yield or uh, partially electron yield. More simple. Now, we move on the analysis of X-ray, uh, x cells. This is a typical Ixos I'm sorry, it, it, uh, do you have, do, do you want to the short break? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> one hour, more one hour. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Next we discussed the analysis of uh, Ixos and some complicated phrase. So refreshment of the, our brains.